Well, this is winter 1764. I'm very disappointed that the uh, Marathas didn't come and attack me. To be quite honest with you, that would have been really nice. They would have weakened his forces, so when I get up close to him, I could have um, taken him out. Technology theft failed. Let's have a look in here. In the early part of the game, I don't know if you remember all that time ago, hundreds of videos ago it seems, uh, I was pretty good at stealing things, but not very good at it anymore. So, uh, ooh, lots and lots of things done there. Well, if you go to his barracks in Kutak, that means I could uh, perhaps raise taxes there or something. Like that. Anyway, uh, first things first, let's get these chaps from out of France, these two uh, musketeers that I put in here, regular troops. I want them out of there and I want them over to Strasbourg because uh, I can't raise any decent quality troops in there. Where is it, Brussels? I want them in. No, it's in Strasbourg, isn't it? In Alsace Lorraine. Alsace Lorraine, you see, is the one. Oh, we can't even reach. Oh, my God. We'll get part way there anyway. Five and six. Yeah, so they're doing pretty well. They're quite happy in there. It's just that they can't raise their own decent quality troops, you see, in there. Uh, whereas, you know, Flanders, they can actually raise their own troops. No, they can't. What am I thinking of? I sent them to the wrong place. I haven't. No, they can't raise their own, can they? Um, I suppose Flanders can be reinforced from Amsterdam anyway, can't they? So, while we're over here anyway, let's have a quick look at Amsterdam, see how we're doing. At, uh, 10 and 13, everybody's quite happy. Lots and lots of different types of troops we can have. Oh, why is that? Oh, probably because I've got as many of those as I'm allowed to have. That's probably why that is. Why it's greyed out. Okay, nothing else I can have in there. Got a ship in here. Yeah, it is. It's the Savoy Slayer. <laughs> the Savoy Slayer was the one that I was um, having repaired. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get another one in here now and get that one repaired. What's this one? That's a 6 or 8. Uh, 6 or 8 should have 32 on them, shouldn't they? Thirty, 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 thirty-two. Do you know? I don't think I'm going to try this. I've never tried it before. I don't think you can get one to go into another, can you? No, you can't. I don't think you could. Okay, so that's a six rate, and it's only got twenty-two. So I'm going to send that one in here and get that one repaired. I should have uh, a ship being recruited in here. Yes, I have. I've got a fourth rate being recruited in there. That's just as well. It's working out quite well, actually, this, um, that Austria are attacking me about now. So I did have another fleet down there. I've still got another fleet down here. Just want to make sure that I'm replenishing it in the way that I want to, repairing it. At the moment it's not even in dock, is it? So a quick look around here, see if any other Austrians have been brave enough to show their faces. I can't believe these Austrian fleets have actually started to show themselves. It's real, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, in mean, a situation like this, and they're, they're showing themselves. Whereas after years and years and years of skulking away in a port as well, you know. Is that what Marseille? Um, I really want to be protecting Marseille than being there, don't I? That one's Marseille, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, we'll go to this one instead. Right, OK. That's it. Right, let's repair the fleet. We good? 23,578 and 18,000 coming in next turn. That would be because we've got um, some money from attacking ships, or rather defending myself against stupid ships. <laughs> There's one in there. It's gone hiding in there, hasn't it? Uh, let's have a look over at India and we'll find out what's going on with Afghanistan. My little experiment here. First of all, let's see if he's repaired any of these. That one didn't get damaged in the first place. Ah! He hasn't repaired that. Oh, now that is a good sign. There's another one of damage, wasn't there, as well, somewhere? Uh, I don't know where it is, but the palace is badly damaged. Oh, yes. He's struggling, isn't he? He is really struggling. Now I thought, I did think there was another one that I'd hit. Where on earth is it? Must be this. 
It is that, isn't it? So two ash grams I hit, and I hit... That's right, it was hidden behind there, wasn't it? I was thinking it was that, but... Uh, right, so I wonder if there's another ash grom I can hit somewhere. Let's find out how he's getting on. Oh, Lord! Oh, yes! Bankruptcy! Three! Got a bank Two predicted. I don't quite understand that predictor. That means it's going down. Bankruptcy shouldn't go down, should it? Um, I wonder in this sense if it's an additional two. So that next turn... Hey, that's another test for us, isn't it, really? So next turn, the bankruptcy of three should go up to five. Now that would make sense, wouldn't it, really? Um, again, we've got the same situation here. Bankruptcy three, and then two there. So that would seem it's going down from three to two. That's how it normally shows, isn't it? But, uh, I think it means that means that it's going to go up by another two. Look at that. Minus 37 growth as well. Oof, yes, very nice. Now, he's not rebuilding anything, so... I'm thinking, is there something else I can damage of his that's going to affect him? Now I can hit those palatial estates. What's that? That's the other Ashkram. That's the one I want. Can I reach it, though? Reach it with this one either. Oh, what a shame. Hmm. I suppose this one will go all the way along the road, will he? No, he won't. Right, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is send this one off to that ash cram. Because the ash cram, you see, in fact, damage that first if I can. Then I'll go off to the other such success with these, then. Right, so we'll go off to there and damage that one, eventually. Now, this one here, I might as well damage this as well. Oh, <laughs> well, I suppose it had to happen eventually, didn't it? Now, this one I, I need to keep round here anyway, really. I wonder if I can sabotage the, um, the wall. Do you know, I can sabotage that building again. It's only 22% chance. Are going to try it? Yeah. Agent detected. Well, at least it's not so bad. It's not as if we've lost one completely. But he's going to go down for bankruptcy. That's the main thing. That's good news. Any other spies around here I can use to move in? I thought I had one at Kashmir. Maybe I've used him. That's a shame. Anyhow, let's have a look over here see what he's doing. He's still sieging me. I don't really want to lift that siege, to be honest, because I want him to go bankrupt. I'm enjoying this bankruptcy thing. Uh, move that one there from there to, say, here, for now. And then this one here to join him. There as well. So next time, I suppose, I could send that army around there and attack there and have these as supports. If I come out of here with these, it's going to be fighting from outside the walls and it's going to be difficult. I'm going to end up with a load of these. These will be fighting and not until these have gone through the action will the new ones come on. So uh, I'm going to end up fighting with a load of rubbishy troops before these even get in, these ones here even get into the action. So it's just not like worth messing about, is it really? So, no, I think we'll wait for them to go bankrupt. Let's see if he's got rid of any of these ships. If he's got bankruptcy, he should be getting rid of... Oh, he won't. He won't disband units. He won't do. 